being so gullible. Okay, it means I'm on too. I've invested in a few things that were, as I say, a doctor and his money or student party. So, <clears throat> knowing that we're gullible helps us become a little less gullible. At least think it through. There are, we are told, two kinds of carbohydrates. Anybody know what they are? Complex. You would think simple and complex are the two kinds, because that's what we've been talking about. But in fact, we're told there's two different kinds. There's good one and bad one. <laughs> yeah, that's a judgment I'm not going to go to. There's whole and there's refined. There's whole and refined. And the whole ones are supposed to be good for us, and the refined ones not so supportive of our health. And we tend to think of refined sugar as the refined carbohydrate. But that's not the only refined carbohydrate. White flour is certainly very refined. Fruit most definitely falls into the whole carbohydrate category, the good category while at the same time falling into the category of simple sugars, the ones that taste sweet, easily absorbable, require no digestion, easy to sneak up on. <laughs> if I send you out in a field of wheat and say, collect dinner, you're in trouble. <laughs> you ain't, you're probably never coming back with dinner. You'll never have to, you might come back with a quail or something. But you're not going to come back with wheat and say, oh, here, this is what I'm going to eat, is wheat out of the field. It's, it's a non-starter. Has anybody ever tried it, eat wheat out of the field? Or barley or something out of the field? Does it work? I'm sorry? You taste it, and you go, wow, that, that really, I could have cut my mouth badly on that if I wasn't careful. <laughs> it's not food. Just starve in the field of wheat. To me, sugar carries the components that we're looking for. Fruit carries the sugar components that we're looking for perfectly. In a form that is ideal because there is sufficient water to make the sugar digestion not overwhelm you with just sugar. Because just sugar requires water. If you just eat a sugar cube, you're going to be thirsty. Eat a whole bunch of sugar cubes, you're going to be thirsty. It needs to be diluted in a lot of water. Fruit, obviously, supplies lots of water, dilutes the sugar component down to something very close to the way that it's found inside of our body. It's a good deal for us. It's a good deal for the plant as well because we function as seed spreaders. There's only two kinds of animals in terms of seeds. There's seed destroyers, like a pig chomps down on any seed and just crushes it. And then there's seed spreaders like us and the bats. Why are bats seed spreaders? Because bats will take, don't like to eat fruit where they find it. They don't feel safe there. So they pick up a piece of fruit and they fly with it to some place much safer. And then they'll eat. We, on the other hand, spread seed in a different fashion we either don't eat the seed while we're eating the fruit, which might be under the mother tree, or we do eat the seed, in which case, in a day or two, we deposit the seed 
in a fertile mass of whatever you feel comfortable thinking about. <laughs> of who? A compost. A nice compostable mass. A fertile mass of compost. You squat and leave that there, ready to go. First one, I think that covers most of what needs to be covered in terms of our understanding of what carbohydrates are, where they come from, how they're found, how they're utilized. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk a completely different ballgame about them. Any questions in any way? Anybody come in and look in there and find something out? Mm. Well, they didn't choose. <laughs> nice. Anybody heard any good stories? Anything cool happened at the event? No, go ahead. Um, well, I have one. You were saying that eating off sugar gets some fat. Or some kind of fat. One more time. Sorry. Um, can you say, can you speak without the accent this time? Are you saying a bit sugar can get turned into fat in the body? Sugar turns into fat in the body, absolutely. But is it impossible to actually eat enough to get, you know, to get overweight on sugar? Is it possible to eat enough sugar to get overweight? Oh yeah, it's possible. It's possible. People are, um, Neurotic. Lots of them are. We have all sorts of neuroses. We're, we're a strange lot. And it is possible to eat enough sugar to hurt yourself, to gain weight on. It is possible, but it's not probable. It's not likely because, as we talked about yesterday, when you eat things that are sweet, you turn off your appetite. You become satiated. This is why no amount of nuts will satiate you if what you're looking for is something sweet. Even after you finish your meal of, with insufficient fruit and then you go eat the whole bag of nuts, you then still go look for something sweet. Finally, it clicks, I needed something sweet. <laughs> but at that point, it may well not sit all, all that well on top of the nuts. You know, you're just opening up other problems. Um, but when we eat sugars, we eat sweet things, we're satiated. Because your brain monitors blood sugar. When you start eating fruit, your blood sugar rises. As soon as blood sugar rises, brain recognizes that and it says, okay, we're not seeking food anymore. We found it. And satiation is part of that experience. This is why you can't... You can get... Part of your satiation comes from volume. And so if you drink a quarter or two of water, you can have a momentary feeling of satiation. But you can't fill yourself up. Ten minutes later, you're still as hungry as you were before. You can be hungry, eat some nuts, and momentarily feel like, oh, I'm eating, this is good. But it didn't 